we are on area 18 once again tap Y to get out of bed hold F and left click to open the door down these stairs then we got our elevator right here you call the elevator call the elevator. <clears throat> click ground floor ride the elevator Head towards these kiosks. <clears throat> now, here at Area 18, it can be very, very confusing to find your way around because everything is connected. I have found the fastest way is once you come out of the elevator, you take a left, head into Zone 2. Th this is where you buy ships over there. But you just go straight through zone 2 to zone 3. And it's a pretty straightforward path. I'm going to own one of those one day. The Vulture. Now, once you're here at the main plaza, you're going to look for this. It's a city flight. That is where you're going to want to go to get on the train to go to the spaceport. If there's a convention, you can go that way. Like for fr the free fly weeks and stuff, that'll be over there. But you just want to go. See, once again, follow signs. Pretty much the main way to figure out where to go in this game is to follow the signs. So we go to the spaceport. Head down here and we're going to get on a train. Boom. And as you can see it says tram arriving in 33 seconds. So you need to stand around and wait for the train because you know this game is huge. There's other people here. They can't have infinite trains running for everyone that pulls up to the station. So they have one train that physically runs from area to area in the city. And then there's another train that goes the opposite direction in the city. <clears throat> and if you're ever lost, uh, most stations have a map. This one doesn't. Even though it's the Richie Bitch City, doesn't have a map. And we're gonna take this train to the spaceport. And if you think the city is pretty at night, you should see it during the day. Oh, it's so gorgeous with all the ray tracing and they have done some amazing work on the graphics like you can even see the scratches in the window as the light goes over it amazing attention to detail And unfortunately, on any of the planet bases where you start, you're gonna get some lag. The game is not nearly optimized, <coughs> but I think that's a small price to pay for all of the other things that they're working on. I kind of agree with the way they're doing it, you know, fix major game-breaking bugs that prevent you from playing, but anything else, just let it slide. The game's still in alpha. 
You know, you can still buy a ship to get the game. Which is going to be a huge bonus for anyone who hasn't bought a ship before the game releases. Because once the game releases, the only way to buy a ship is in-game. You will never be able to buy a ship with real cash again. <clears throat> Once again, we go straight through customs. We take a left. Kitty corner through here. Bam. And then here's your terminals for calling in your ship. Of course, I'll be calling in my baby. For the latest travel hey, beta. be sure to check the departure and arrival board. Hang a three. Now we go straight around. Once again, sign Hi, hangar elevators. Hangar elevators this way. Hangers. No, I actually did forget where which one it was in. Hangar three. Okay. And then from here it's just like the last hangar. Enter your cockpit, push R, turn on the power, push F11, well, we'll, we'll get there when we get there, okay, okay, now push R to turn on your power while your ship's powering up, push F11, click friends, click the little arrows underneath the area 18, and then you can immediately push F1 to exit back out. And it will open the hangar doors. Hold space to vertically take off. Boom. Then once you are outside of your hangar, push N to toggle your landing gear. Landing gear retracted. And then head off into space. Scroll up on the mouse wheel to increase your throttle. Tap C to put it into auto cruise. So that way it continues to accelerate without you having to hold W. And then once you get about 10,000 feet, you'll be out of the atmosphere and be able to quantum to a station or anywhere you need to go.
transfers to the perimeter, spaceport, and industry line. Person security reserves the right to search travelers at any time. Now that we are on our way to the metro station on the spaceport line, we just wait till we get to the stop. Open Sesame. And dangerous offense. Open now. Open your door. Let me out. Let me out. Thank you. Follow the exit sign. Be considerate to your fellow travelers. Do not okay. If we go this way, it's to another train. We want to go this way, where it says customs area. Go straight through customs. Take a left. Up these stairs. And these terminals you see right here are where you call in your ship. I'll be going with my favorite ship, the Mustang Beta. If you're not paying attention when it tells you where your ship is delivered, there is that marker that will pop up, tell you exactly which hangar your ship's in. And now to get away from the terminal, you have to push S and back away from it. Clicking the X does not do anything. Elevators are down this way. Now if you look up here, all over every city, there are signs to tell you where to go. Then once again, we hold F, call the elevator, and wait. Oh no, I forgot. Wait, where's my ship at? Oh, let's just look. Hangar 9. Once again, hold F, scroll down till you see the hangar click on it and then wait I'm glad they gave me a hanger because then I can show this next part now as you approach your ships it should give you an indicator as to where to get in your ship once again hold F click on enter pilot seat or on a lot of ships it'll say open door <clears throat> now once you are in your seat you push R to turn on your power Welcome once power is on you push F11 click friends 
click this little arrow at Lorville Landing Services, then push F1. You don't have to wait for it. And then as you see, the hangar doors will begin to open above me. Now once you hear the hangar doors stop moving, hold space to lift off vertically. Press N to toggle your landing gear. Landing gear retracted. And angle about 45 degrees. Tap C and scroll up on the mouse wheel to increase your th throttle. And then once you reach around 20,000 feet, you are safely out of the atmosphere. Okay, now for our final spawn point. This is New Babbage. Now I think by now you know the routine. Tap Y to get out of your bed. Walk to your door. Hold F, left click to open. Now here, it's very pretty. I love the look of this planet. I love this station. It's very nice. You go to the elevator. down these stairs to the metro loop, see the sign? And all of these people walking around are NPCs. Now, we want to go spaceport. So we go over on this left side. Hopefully we make it... Oh, we made it. Just in time. actually physically moving across the surface of the planet in a train to the space station. No loading, none of that hullabaloo, no teleportation. You are physically moving on the train. Find the sign that says exit. And I call an elevator. <clears throat> I heard you open your door. Come on. Go click click. We go NBIS terminal.
take a right. You go down through customs. Wait till my cockpit is closed before I turn on the power. And then once again, you push a left F11, click on friends, click the arrows under the New Babbage International Spaceport, push F1, and wait for the doors to open. So wait for the doors to open. Thank you. Freaking four station. I love you. Again, hold space, take off, push N, toggle your landing gear, landing gear retracted. Hold W to go forward. Scroll up on your mouse wheel as you angle up. Tap C to turn on your cruise control and then just fly off into space. Successfully left all three spawners. Please, Mr. Again. 